Hey everybody, happy festive. This is the best place to be. Behind us, the most scenic part of South Africa. Currently nestled in a little bit of mist, but uh, let's talk a little bit more about the festivities and what it brings to this area behind us. I'm joined by John Williams, and we, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about, John, about the time of the year it is. Uh, it's Christmas time, it's festive in the Western Cape. It means that the whole of South Africa, the whole of South Africa, come to this little section where we are at the moment, Camp Spain. Ah, look, it's awesome. I mean, the drive in here was spectacular. I mean, you went over the top. I went around the coast. I mean, yeah, there's so much to look at. The houses, the cars, people running, being active. So, yeah, very exciting time to be out this side of the world. John, when you and I chatted, I said to you, listen, we're going to cruise camps bare a little. We're going to try and spot this, the ever elusive CA number plate. Because I tell you what, the CA plates, they step aside for the GPEC and every other uh, kind of a number plate that comes to town over this festive se season. So you and I are going, to, are going to hop into cars. But I also asked you to bring something that you kind of wouldn't mind taking up and down camps bare. At the same time, a great e everyday driver, something that fits in with the, the St. Moritz of, uh, of South Africa, the, the Monaco as it his, uh, Camps yeah. Bay, and, and something that's that's your style and flavor. What have you gone with? Yeah, it was a tough choice because obviously, you know, I need a little bit of boot space. Yes. You know, uh, if I go with something that's like sort of a hypercar, supercar, there's no back seats. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I went with something that's compact, as you can see, the M2 here, which is the black edition, um, which they call the shadow edition. I okay. want to always say the shadow line because yes, the old 3 series, old, yeah. but it's the shadow edition. There's 20 in South Africa. I mean, you can see triple black. It's just proper. And uh, I tell this, you, is special because it's from friends of ours uh, at yes red driving force i mean driving they got they had actually they've got three m2s there but i went with this one because it's more limited you know me i like the limited yeah. edition um but spectacular cars they got there all kinds of cars i mean beautiful showroom we need to go and have a look at their showroom in montague yeah. gardens yeah. um really proper so yeah i went with this um not the most outrageous looking car not yeah. the fastest car i've ever driven but i tell you there's something about a coupe oh. real wheel drive that burble between the shifts it just gets you a little bit excited. It so does. yeah, it's, 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 this is why I've gone with this for this type of roads and parking. Oh, I mean, we saw earlier on, absolutely. but tight here for parking. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to hop in John's car first, right? And this is how it's going to work. We're going to set the, the, the camera up inside the car. I'm going to play a little game of spot the GP car <laughs> as we make our way through. John's also going to see how, how many cars we can spot that are worth taking a look at, worth noting, worth commenting on, worth chatting about as we cruise the strip behind us in his camps bay. At the same time, I want to kind of be, as a passenger in the car, see how many heads turn our way to just have a look at the car, maybe have a listen, and we'll do a head count as well to see if in camps bay, the area that's known for seeing Ferraris, Bikini, some of the finest automobiles in the world cruise on a daily basis. If cars, affordable cars, everyday cars in South Africa, <laughs> like a BMW M2 and a C200 Mercedes Benz, are cars that can still turn hence in this place over here behind us, Camps Bay Main Strip. John, let's hop in your car. Great, let's go. And uh, it's very comfortable. The seating is very, very comfortable. Now, I've been in a competition, I've driven a competition. These seats feel com more comfortable to me than a competition. Is it? Is it? Yeah, this is not your, you know, your bucket seats, standard. you know. So this is a little bit more comfortable for your daily driving. But it, again, you know, you guys that buy these cars don't drive them every day. No. You know, so. But you can. It's you can. so liquid. Yeah. All right, let's head off through to Camps Bay. Uh, the Golden Mile. Nice time of the morning. Oh, man. <laughs> you see, I love. That burble's a problem oh. for me, hey? I love how connected this car is. You're talking about feeling as a driver. It's it's a it's a beautiful driver's car, isn't it? Yeah, it's like personal preference. You know, for me, you know, coming from the racing background, yes. I prefer a car that's a little bit more stiff that I can Got feel. You. you know, and yeah. uh, you know, for some people that I've taken in the car, they're like, oh, it's quite stiff. You feel the bumps. Yes. But isn't that what makes it exciting? Absolutely. You know, I can drive. You know, cars that are comfortable yeah. and cars that are not exciting. But for me, every time I get in this thing. It just puts this, I just got this smile on my face, you know, because it's just exciting and it's twitchy. You, you got a little Did I get a look. You got a little look? look from the first oh, look before a, we've even hit the, oh, hit the, hit the uh, We're on the down ramp into on the, the down the ramp into Camps zone. Bay. I mean you can see the guys bring all the toys, hey? Yeah, yeah. They don't leave anything in Joburg or Durban, trailer it all down. But that's what I was gonna ask. Yeah. How do they get them all here? Who drive I mean who drives this the stuff down? They've got transporters that put the cars on. So yeah. again, you know, when they come here they want the SUV. Yeah. Um, they possibly want the bucky if they want to go do motocross or to the beach. And then, you know, the 
daily shopping and stuff like it and then obviously to drive on this strip they want the absolutely flashy yeah. supercar your ferrari your porsche lamborghinis absolutely. um so yeah they've been them down and eh? prime parking we're about to go past it looks like is that a blue U urus what is that is that a lambo is that a no that know. could be it's a jag, it's a jag. Yeah. It's a svr back starting lines and he's managed to squeeze that just no it's a urus look at that it's eh? a blue lamborghini urus going past cafe caprice oh, cafe you and caprice. i both have many memories <laughs> of cafe caprice yeah different in the daylight eh? oh <laughs> man and absolutely packed sure what a spec on that lamborghini i mean that's quite an unusual color i haven't seen one of those before very unusual quite nice quite eye-catching there is quite a few classic cars that drive oh, on this trip eh? beautiful What's that? That's a Cadillac. Yeah, old Caddy. Gee, look at the size of that Top competitor. Gun. It's like two M2s. Take it in two parking bays. <laughs> Again, oh, oh, McCann yeah, GTS. This is nice and a lovely spec on this GTS. Eh? Very, and very nice. registration. Look at very that. Very nice home car. Struggling to park there though. Battling, yeah. Just, uh, I think the kind of attitude here is let's put the hazards on. Nip in for a quick coffee. Mommies it's with... Up babies people whistling can yeah, hear them across the way they're whistling at john in this beautiful black m2 <laughs> now you've laid it uh, the, the the gauntlet down here for me because i'm not going to get the same kind of head turning as you're getting in this m2 which which just goes to show even though we've passed the past the seven million uh, or, or probably in that spec about six million rand euros um you're still getting plenty of love shown for an m2 that's available here locally yeah i think this is quite a unique spec you yeah know, it's got the lightweight wheels and like i said you can see the interior you know it's just carbon everywhere which i really love i love the carbon bits in this car so it's quite unusual um but you don't see many m2s on the road uh, obviously you know the the competition packs also quite a nice package i said to you before yes. yeah you know if i had to go out and buy one i'd most likely probably buy the competition back um just a little bit more sporty c-class made in that. south african c-class that hey she was open checkbook Run us through cars you'd have for summer in Cape Town. Oof. Sure. Yeah, you know, I'm a big Porsche fan. Yeah. I love Porsche. Yes. It's just the driving experience that you get from a Porsche. Yeah. It just really gets me excited. Yeah. So, if I was cruising on this trip, GT3 RS, Ooh. you know, I know it's very uncomfortable. Four point harness, carbon fiber, bouncing around in the seat. John Lopez, thank you very much. It was yeah. the highlight of my year this year. Going with him in the Porsche Club run, yes. going flat out in the GT3 RS. Thank you, Jean. So that would probably be be my my go-to, you know, just because I want to enjoy it. and obviously yes. taking that car out to say Franchuk side. Got you on the winery routes and going enjoying sort of there. You can let the car stretch its legs a little bit. Okay. So that for me would be sort of the, the car where I want to go out and enjoy my driving. Got you, John. This has been incredible. It's so lick a spinning time in a, in a car and one that which literally turned heads. I got, but by the 10, by the 10 mark, I, I gave up when there was 10 heads that already turned. I, I'm hoping when we hop into the Merc, we can do the same thing. But we passed a couple of the new C classes. Yeah. The big question is how many heads will it turn? How many uh, people will actually take notice of us in that vehicle going the camp space strip? Uh, if it's head to turning that you're after so far, this one, a massive thumbs up again to our friends out in where are they exactly based? They're they Montague Drive. Montague Drive. Fairly are they New, uh, dealership. Uh, they'll mean, be open throughout obviously the public holidays aside but go and see one of the amazing staff on the yeah, floor listen they've got cars for everybody yeah. i mean they've got m4s m2s they've got suvs they've got buckies um, they've got a beautiful bar coffee shop there oh. so really uh, it's a, a great dealership and i mean we've got so many good dealerships but it's nice to go to ones that guys really pay attention to what they buy and also if you want top dollar for your car you can also go there and they'll trade in your car so nice really nice and i mean they were lucky enough to give us this uh, beautiful shadow edition like i said triple black it's a it's stunning amazing. car and i've really enjoyed driving it on this camp space trip my turn it's up in the b uh, the merc the c200 and let's go for a little cruise let's do it the car's on you didn't even hear me turn it on now this is what i enjoy let's talk a little about the things i enjoy about Ooh. this car first infotainment system is out of the very top drawer it's like a massive ipad system that, that that's loaded over here and this car is loaded with all the bells and whistles the c200 comes complete it's on and there's no big noise mm. where you felt inside the bm mm -hmm. m2 there was a presence and you felt connected to something a bit sport here yeah you feel a little bit more you know a little bit more several row suit mm. i mean a, a bespoke something it's a, a, a you know a bit more of that relaxed refined mercedes-benz leather everywhere mm. a nice feel inside if things are proper i mean if listen solid. to that, it's proper yeah. solid inside in drive and you know mercedes-benz have always had their drive system on, <laughs> on a stalk over here which is quite tough if you're not used to it because you when you're trying to look for for things like indicators and 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 all the wipers you end up changing the gears 
Yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to. I just feel that. Look how refined it is. There's no. I mean, like I joke no about fuss. it. I mean, this is like a, a, a. I mean, like you know, like a good old fashioned. Uh, what do you call that um, when you're sitting in front of the TV, like an armchair yes, like or a, like a, like a leather I mean, couch? I mean, soak into this car. Absolutely, everything about it, the headrests, everything's just sculpted around where I am in life. I mean, you it's know, quite it a big like, difference from the M2 to yeah, this in terms yeah. of comfort, but completely absolutely. different cars. I mean, you you know? need to quickly nip off the off the mark, and you know, sure. Look at that. I mean, for a big car. Hey, for a big car with a 1500 engine. It's actually quite impressive how it just pulls away. I mean, but like you say, I mean, the Germans do it well. I mean, the, yeah. the, the interiors in their cars are Absolutely. just... Absolutely. Like, next, next level. It is. It really is. I mean, and it, it works, you know. I mean, the space, nice leg room. Yeah. I'm sitting quite comfortable here. Now, here's the thing. This See, I nice. haven't had one. Oh. I, I had to hoot to try and get someone's attention. <laughs> no one's even looked at me once, John. <laughs> Maybe you need to put those guns out the, John, out the not window. <laughs> once have I got a look. It's so quiet, they can't hear you coming. Then no one is even bothered looking at me. <laughs> so under the radar, I'm there. I'm like, uh, this is like, you know, it's, it's. I don't know if this is a look. I'm if, just if worried he that his one head of these residents here no. are going to stop no. us and ask oh, to give wow. them a lift because they think it's to be their chauffeur drivers. Exactly. I mean, and uh, again, Ryan, this is something I want to ask. Convertible or hard top? For you on the strip. Ooh. Oh, did you see that electric Charging. car? Yo. Hey, how's that? Yo. Plugged in. Um, oh, it's a tough call. Eh? I don't know. Uh, that 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 911 Turbo S is just such a complete car. Now, when I look at that, for example, and look at that in either uh, the coupe hardtop or the normal coupe or the or the, the convertible. I'm such a fan of that car without a top on. It is just such a sexy car. Yeah. Uh, the 911 Turbo S. And you're talking just now. You take the GT3 RS. I'll take the 911 Turbo S, the current generation ah, nice. 992. For nice. me, that is, and I will take it in the convertible option. That would be my option to take it in. Listen, I can't wait. In the new year, by the way, like, subscribe. John and I are going to be um, from a special bar in Montague Gardens where John picked up the M2. We're going to have a little chat, and I want to chat a little bit about, uh, and it's an entry in the new year to, because John's going to be with me on, 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 oh, look at this. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. 356 of the old classic Porsche. Yeah, that's the Speedster as well. Yeah. The Guys, when they're in town, I think I've missed my turn off, but that's fine. <laughs> I think you got it. Um, and um, and add that to some incredible projects that we've got in mind for the new year. I can't wait uh, for you to be seeing more of this legend next to me in the in the seat, uh, doing some amazing content. Um, it's a tough call now as we pull back into the parking lot and kind of reflect on our trip mm. very briefly. That was so comfortable. It was really comfortable, Ryan. You know, I mean, if you want to go on a long trip yeah. or even a short trip to the shop. I mean, they do it well. Okay, let's sum this up. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Just couldn't have asked for a better day, better company, better time to be alive than Christmas time in the Western Cape. If you're traveling down here for any kind of holiday, enjoy your time here. Uh, just make sure your neck is ready to turn like this <laughs> if you are planning to come to Camps Bay and you are a petrol head because there is so much to see. John, what did you think? You were a passenger in the C200 and a driver in the M2. First of all, it must be tough being a passenger when you're a driver. Yeah, I know it's very difficult, but in this, I actually enjoyed it. If I'm going to be a passenger, yeah. put it that way, I'll be a passenger in this car. Yeah. It's so comfortable and yeah. so quiet completely different drive to the m2 yeah but there's a place for it you know there's, there's almost a place for both yes i know we have to choose one so yeah. it's really difficult but i mean we we're cruising along the coastline there yeah. oh it's beautiful quiet yeah. you know i'm 40 now so maybe i'm starting to understand what happens are you, are you edging that way no 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 no, no, I was no, say. no maybe if i'm tired and you're driving i'll edge that, edge way. that way well, listen, I tell you, as a passenger, as a passenger, I'd rather be a passenger in the M2. Yeah. Right? Because I felt alive. I felt younger. Yes. If, if you can say that. I felt, and the vibe from everybody going past was like, listen, that's cool. That's like, <laughs> we're trying to, it, it's so like, like understated, this specific pack. The yeah. little carbon fiber details. You know you're in something special. And, and Oaks, just trying to figure out how and what you've done to the car that makes it look uh, different from any other M M2 on the road. So this one, a huge thanks to Driving Force. We'll be coming, uh, doing something in January with John from Driving Force. But what a great car. As a passenger, I'd like to be in the M2. As a driver, though, mm. I mean, I'm in Cape Town, holiday <laughs> mode, shorts, plackies, and in a fine bit of proudly South African-made kit, the C200 gets my vote. I'm going to have to go with the M2, M2 right? I need, I, need that, I need that heart rate to putter, but you know. So the bottom line is it doesn't matter. 
what you're in in camps bay ah, yeah true if you're in something like the m2 that's going to make a bit more noise and turn more heads hey good for you you're going to love it you're going to enjoy driving your car down here if you're all about the holiday taking in the just the gentle breeze of the ocean mm. uh, listening to some enya uh, <laughs> as the life goes by you maybe the c200s are a car that you should look at and like i said made here in south africa like subscribe john and i will be back in the new year uh, like i said it mentioned in the car i'm going to talk a bit more about this man's career his love for motor vehicles and of course the exciting projects we've got planned in 2023 be safe have a great festive john to you and your family all the best for christmas no, mate. thanks and john and i will be back with car magazine some great content in the new year cheers everyone <laughs>